Coming back home in line with our corporate social responsibility as advocate broadcasting network ADBN Television. It has put together a filmmaking workshop designed to tell the stories of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. The oil rich region, despite being blessed with its natural resources, has had to grapple with developments. But ADBN Television, through her management and ownership, has taught it wise to engage the youths of the region in her nursing, technology and leveraging on the use of their smartphones to be able to tell unique stories of the region. Wife of the President of the Senate, Her Excellency Uno Mark Pabio was the pioneer at the event as she encouraged young persons to leverage on technology to make better their fortunes through filmmaking and storytelling. And let's bring you excerpts and highlights of the ADBN Television Smartphone Filmmaking Workshop held in Uyo, the capital of Aquibum State. Take a listen. event you will see smart starting the title everything is going smart when we were growing up we were used to nollywood movies Nkemo and Co. and you have to stay in front of a big television with a big cassette to watch and that time you don't even know who is watching but today entertainment has gone smart just imagine the 30 seconds or so uh, by um, brain jota that has garnered more than 29 million views on instagram with 30,000 comments TikTok, 19 million views with around 23,000 comments. And the entertainment industry in Nigeria today is contributing more than 1.9 trillion to our GDP. And that is 27 point something percent increase from 2021. So, 
if you want to tap into this growing sector in Nigeria, you should be here. And I think that is why all of you should be here. And it's good that you are here. And it's not only that this, I heard one of you complaining about money to do bigger videos when they were talking. I just read up that over the last three years, Netflix has invested more than $23 million into film production and filmmaking in Nigeria. Wow. So if you are here and you take what we are doing very seriously, there is a possibility that you will be one of the people that will benefit from all the investments that are going around. And even from here, when this ends, some of you may end up working for ADBM. My name is E.K. Chikujiwe. I'm also on uh, OAP. I run the morning program, the morning flights. And uh, this event, organized by Advocate Broadcasting Network, the media outfit that runs both Passion FM and ADBN Television on Channel 258 on DSTV, 140 on Star Times. The essence of this is to have persons who have something to bring on board. Now, we are not just talking about 5 million for the best persons, you know, three people. We're also talking about being co-opted into our system where you can begin to give us contents. From the sights and scenes I can see here, everybody is very ready. In fact, it's like they came ready from wherever they came from across Nigeria. Everybody is very ready. Everybody came with their equipment, their pens. The workshop started in full swing this morning. The participants, the facilitators, everybody is on set. And of course, the events for this morning kick started way early in the morning. So everybody's on ground. Everything is rolling as planned. It's a workshop where, you know, creatives get to come together and they get to work in using their smartphones to create amazing visuals, depending on whatever content you are interested in. Um, with me with me here are some of the participants as well as the facilitators. So I'll bring one facilitator with me now. She's going to be telling me what her experience has been so far and what she looks forward to as well in the entire workshop. So my, let's meet you, your name and then where you are from. Oh, okay. Um, my name is... My name is Messi Oko Kaje um, from Abia State. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so as a facilitator in this kind of um, a competition and workshop, what do you look forward to? What excites you about something like this? So the thing is, uh, we're all um, creatives, we're all like minds. Um, I'm really happy to be here because I look forward to learning from them and I also look forward to them learning from me. <laughs> learning from them, that's a whole new perspective, honestly. Learning from them, what do you look forward to learning from them as, as a wrap-up? Like I said, we're all creatives. Mm. There's some in-depth knowledge that they possess, that they have, that I might not know about. So when they, when they throw their questions at me and I'm able to deliver the answers to them, it makes me happy. It makes me want to also learn more, you know, have engaging conversations with them and also create better um, story ideas for the competition. Now, what content is content in the past is broad range of activities, such as writing blog posts, creating social media graphics, shooting videos, and recording podcasts. Now, we have audio visuals. I have a friend that has a podcast on Spotify. When you listen to that podcast, you visualize it in your head, and it's content. You don't even have to have um, your visual camera or something to record. You can actually do content from anywhere. On social media, there's this page that posts just art, just you know, an artist drawing. But the approach he creates that um, that art is beautiful. So he starts from maybe he's pointing on the ground, maybe he's using his head, I don't even notice that. He uses his head to paint, and just you are amazed. So in this way, you can say storytelling fuels the vehicle of content creation because without Storytelling, you can't create reasonable content. That is why when we watch content on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, sometimes we don't do them. We're like, this is not a beginner, right? That's why when we go on Instagram and we watch some 
spirit as we end up saying this is so boring because they are not passing the right information to us. Content should have value, content should have the right information to a specific audience. The third thing is to know your audience, know your niche. I know everybody here has what they love them. Like, you understand what the word niche is, right? You understand that? Yes. So, someone mentioned that he's a food content creator. I, I want to ask a question directly to you now, right? As a food content creator, how do you create your content? Now, in the food, in the food industry, um, we have food critics. I don't know how many of us know when. So, yeah. But I think we should go with Instagram, internet savvy, because a lot of this content is from Instagram. So if you don't know where he is, a food critic, it's also, if you know him, sure. Yes. So in food um, department or in food content, there are different segments. 25P, usually Nigeria, UK, because of uh, format, we can use 25K. 24K and 25K are a bit blurry, which is good for narrative films. In television, they may use 30. 30 is more suited to television. Similarly, up to 60 frames. But you must remember that if you shoot 25, you play back at 25. If you use 30, you play back at 30, and so on. A cinematographer, true, true cinematographer work will go into cinema releases and all those high, high system. But since it is still the same function of recording moving images, there has been a blurring of titles. Cinematographer, director of photography, Cinematographer, the probably will say director of photography in America, in England and Europe, they might say a lighting cameraman. Basically, it's more or less the same, but similar functions, but very different levels of operation. Okay, so you can decide what you want to call yourself. It depends. But then, it depends on what level of work you, you can be assigned or you can be engaged to do. Okay, thank you very much, sir. In normal motion picture production in Hollywood or in standards, there are departments in cinematography, of course the head is the cinematographer or director of photography. And then in that unit, this is a big unit, then you have a camera operator, that is the person who actually manipulates the camera for all movement and composition and all that, it may be a, a camera operator that actually operates the camera as directed by director of photography who may not even touch the camera but tells you the size on the, of the technicals. I also learned that content should have the right information. Then storytelling is the art of weaving narratives that captivate and resonate with the audience. That's to say, before you tell your story, you should know the kind of audience you are telling your story to. And then, storytelling also evokes emotions, drives engagement, and suspense, drama, humor, and symbolism are techniques to all drive content. That is, your content should have, your storytelling, sorry, should have suspense, That's, there should be drama, if you want, humor, and symbolism. Then story addition and development. Um, storytelling is backbone of is the backbone of filmmaking, and storytelling emotionally conveys message and creates memorable experiences. 
Then I also learned how to come up with compelling story ideas, which like filmmakers have to sit down to do brainstorming without judgment. And then when you have your idea, you should also know the message you're trying to pass. Then crafting a story arc, I learned the setup, the tension, and the landing. That is your story should have the beginning, the rising, um, the climax, and the falling tone, that's the end. Then script writing basics, it involves screenplay, playing, like following a specific format and structure, detailing scenes, dialogue, and action. And then characters should always be developed with clear goals, and dialogue should be written to sound natural and push the story forward. We talked about what does content creation mean to you as a person, as an individual, and we should know, you should be able to distinguish or find your niche in content creation, something you're comfortable doing and comfortable giving to your audience. Um, you should also know your storytelling, characters, setting, themes, and what your content gives to your audience. It should evoke emotions. It could be emotions of happiness, sadness, or whatever it is you want to dish out to your audience. Um, we also spoke about crafting the story arc, exposition, climax, resolution, and inciting incidents. Uh, we spoke about uh, script writing ba basics, filmmaking, the development, the pre-production, production, and post-production distribution. All these involve creative and technical collaboration among professionals, including the directors, the producers, screenwriters, editors, etc.